welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. If you're new here, welcome, like, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. In today's unique home series, we're going to take a look at homes that are shaped like stars. Mm hmm. So, <laughs> without further ado, let's get busy with that, shall we? I'll see you guys in a minute. So today we're going to look at homes that are shaped like stars. Mm-hmm. Yes. And these homes can be built out of any materials that you might find. Mm-hmm. Yes. Homes that are shaped like stars can be unique. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. You can have a one-story star or two-story or a star home that has a basement. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and you can have all the creature comforts of home inside a star-shaped home, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Star homes are very unique. <laughs> yes. And how are they unique? Well, they're different from your regular home, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. You can either join the points of your star, or you can leave them in the star shape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. They can be really pretty. Mm-hmm. And full of all kinds of windows. Mm-hmm. Yes. When it comes to your public spaces, of course. Your private spaces, you probably want a little bit less windows. Mm-hmm. hmm <laughs> Yes, I have to agree. Mm-hmm. Star-shaped homes. Yes, can come in many sizes, colors, and options. Mm-hmm. For these things, of course. <laughs> yes, I have to agree. They can be really fun. Mm-hmm. When it comes to a star-shaped home, of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. But think about all the creature comforts of home when it comes to your star-shaped home. Mm-hmm. I have to agree more. <laughs> star-shaped homes can be so fun. And you can design them on the outside just like you can on the inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Star-shaped homes. Mm-hmm. They are so much fun. You can lay them out however you want to. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. I have to agree. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, I hope you feel inspired on the outside as much as you will be inspired on the inside in the next clip. So without further ado, let's get busy with the interior of a star-shaped home, shall we? I'll see you guys in a minute. Now that we've taken a look at the exterior, let's go inside a star-shaped home. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm going to take a look at a two-story with a basement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, and I should mention the um, points of a star-shaped mm -hmm. uh, home, yes. You can do a six-point, you can do a five-point, mm-hmm, yes. <laughs> you could probably even get an eight-point, mm-hmm, yes. Today we're going to focus on a four-point, mm-hmm, star-shaped home, yes. <laughs> So, one point can be, like, your main entryway leading into, like, a courtyard space or maybe the kitchen's in the main space or the stairway to go upstairs, right? Mm-hmm. Then you have one point for a living room, another point for a dining and storage space, and yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Another point for a kitchen. Or maybe you're going to join all four points. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, and have everything open concept. Mm-hmm. Yes. Today's market and buyers want open floor plan. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're going to focus on today, is an open floor plan. Mm-hmm. So you can join your points <laughs> in your star to get extra space. Yes, on every single level. Mm-hmm. Which is what we're going to focus on. So you're going to have all your future comforts of home, right? So you walk in to your first point, which would be your entryway and stairway to go upstairs or downstairs. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to go to your public spaces, which are all open to each other, right? Open concept. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These are spaces like kitchens, dining rooms, living rooms, family rooms. Mm-hmm. Yes. And some people like to have their laundry room on the main floor. Or maybe even a powder room. Or a combination of both, right? <laughs> yes. And all the creature comforts of home can be found. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, the kitchen is where you cook and make your food, right? The dining room is where you eat your food. The living room is where you do your living. Or... A family room is where you uh, go with your family. <laughs> Maybe that family movie night. Watch, oh, I do apologize. That's just my watch. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's the first floor. Here's the second floor. Mm hmm. You head upstairs to a open foyer, right? Where the stairs are on the main floor. And you head upstairs. Mm hmm. And that's open. Then you have your bedrooms and your bathrooms, which are the private spaces. Right? <laughs> they can be mirror image to each other, or they can look different. It just depends on how you lay out your spaces, right? <laughs> yes, and your bathrooms are really important. Now, some people like their primary bedroom on the main floor. Mm hmm But today, we're focusing on having all the bedrooms together. And the bathrooms together, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. But if you don't have room for all three bedrooms upstairs, then the basement will be your next uh, option to put another bedroom and bathroom, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. So, on the top level of the home, the upstairs portion will be three bedrooms, and two baths. Mm -hmm. The bathroom is for either the kids or guests that you're going to have, and two bedrooms that are mirror image to each other, if you can. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. And mirror image is when one room mirrors the other. Mm -hmm. Just think of it as looking in a mirror at yourself, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, and then we have the primary suite, which is the primary bedroom, or the primary bath. Yeah. <laughs> For the owners. Mm-hmm. And storage is absolutely important in a home like this, right? <laughs> Closet space, cupboards, cabinets. Yeah, all that kind of good stuff. Mm-hmm, all the creature comforts of home. So that's the upper floor. Now we're gonna go down to the basement. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yes, I have to agree. The basement can be just as unique as the upper two floors. Mm-hmm. And some people like to use basements for maybe an extra bedroom, bathroom, laundry room, utility room. Mm-hmm. Or some people like to go really, really cool with, I don't know, like a bowling alley, pool table. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Things like that. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. Some people like to spend a lot of money on their homes. Some people like to keep it simple, right? <laughs> or really fancy is what I was trying to say. Mm-hmm. Yes. I have to agree more. <laughs> yes. So, that's a floor plan. Mm-hmm. So take all these ideas to your star home. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'll be right back to wrap up this video. Well, I hope everyone had a lot of fun in today's video. Mm-hmm. And enjoyed it, too. <laughs> yes. So take everything that you learned from today's video and apply it to your next unique home. Mm-hmm. Yes. Starshade. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of fun making today's video. Yes. <laughs> and as you can probably tell, I love interior design. Yeah. Mm hmm. Give me an idea of what the space is going to look like. <laughs> well, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And give this video a thumbs up. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. And if you're new here, welcome. Turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. Follow me on all my social media pages. <laughs> you guys are awesome, wonderful, and lovely. And I can't wait to see you <laughs> again soon. Mm -hmm. I have a very special video coming out later today. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so long for now. <laughs>